In this problem, we're told a right triangle has a hypotenuse length of 3 meters and one of its angles is 30 degrees. What are the lengths of A, the side opposite the 30 degree angle, and B, the side adjacent to the 30 degree angle? So I went ahead and drew what's going on, right? So we have this right triangle, right? And we know the hypotenuse length, which is the longest side, is 3 meters. And we know one of its angles, right, and I just chose this one, is going to be 30 degrees. And so what we're trying to do is solve for the side opposite, right, so the length of the side opposite to the 30 degrees, which is this side right here. We want to find its length. I'm just going to denote it with the variable y. And then we're also trying to find the side adjacent, right? So this is the side that's adjacent. So this one is, I'm just going to call x, and we're trying to solve for x, right? And so this is the hypotenuse, this is the opposite side, and this is the adjacent side. So what we're trying to do is solve for this. And the way we're going to do it is by using trig. So there's three main trig functions, which are cosine, sine, and tangent. And so these are trig functions that we use to solve. And so there's something else you should know, which is basically uh, the saying, which is basically uh, so ka toa. And I'll explain to you what this means, essentially. But essentially what this is, the S, the C, and the T all stand for the first few letters of these, right? So basically, they just stand for one of the trig functions. So there's three of them, right? And so the things next to them basically stand for um, one of the sides, right? So the O stands for opposite. Right? And so what's the opposite side? It's going to be this length right here. right? We just denoted that. The H stands for hypotenuse. So this is the hypotenuse side. The A stands for the adjacent side. right? And so what we're trying to do is use these trig functions in order to solve. right? So what we want to do is well, we're going to do it two, we're going to do, uh, two different times because for each side. But essentially, let's just start with Y. right? So we're trying to solve for Y. Okay? So what we need to do is pick one of these that correspond to its side and then something we know. right? So what we're going to do, right? So think about what y is. y is going to be opposite, right? Because we want it's opposite to the angle. So if we want to solve for it, we have to pick uh, one of these that has an O, right? Because we're trying to find the opposite side, right? And so if you notice, cosine does not have an O in it, meaning you can't solve for the opposite because it doesn't exist in it, right? So we're not going to use that. And we're either going to use t for tangent or sine, uh, right? So we're going to use either of those. But how do we choose which one, right? So notice, if we choose this one, tangent, we're going to use the opposite side and the adjacent side, right? But notice we have, we're solving for the opposite, which is good, but the adjacent side, we don't know. So how would we solve for it if we're missing two variables, right? We can't solve for it. But if you look at sine right here, opposite is what we're trying to solve for. And in the hypotenuse, we do know its length. We know it's three meters. So this means we're going to be using this one and not this one, right? So we're going to be using so, which the S stands for sine. So we're using sine, right? So what you want to do is just take the sine of your angle. In this case, it's 30 degrees and set it equal to. And so basically what you do is you take the first letter and set it over the second letter. So in this case, the opposite, O, is what? Well, I denoted it as Y. You can choose whatever variable. But it's going to be Y over the second letter, which is H, right? So H is going to be 3, right? And so now we have this equation with the one variable, which is Y, which is the opposite side, right? So we can solve for it. So if we just multiply both sides by 3, it's just going to be by itself, right? And so now we just have Y equals this, and you can plug this into your calculator, right? So if you go 3 times the sine of 30, Basically, you're going to get that it equals, right? So just do this. It's going to equal to 1.5. And so make sure when you plug this in, your calculator is in degrees because this angle is in degrees, or you'll get a different answer. But 1.5 meters, that's going to be y, right? So y, or the opposite side, right? So this is going to be 1.5 meters. So this is also your answer to a, right? So 1.5 meters is your answer to a. So now we've got a, and so now we want to do the second part, right? So we're going to be using Sokotoa again. Right? But this one's going to be a bit easier. So keep in mind what we're trying to solve for. We're solving for adjacent, right? Because this was opposite. This is hypotenuse. This is adjacent. And we're trying to find x, the adjacent side. So what we want to do is pick one with a. So in this case, there's two with a, right? There's c, which is cosine, and t, which is tangent. So we're not going to use this one. But we have uh, this one. We have ka and toa left, right? And so last time, we were missing a variable, right? Because adjacent, we didn't have, right? or adjacent, we right? We don't have in this problem. But hypotenuse we had last time, but opposite we didn't. But so if you notice this time, we have both of those now, right? We have hypotenuse and we have a or we have hypotenuse and we have the opposite side, meaning we can choose either of these to solve, right? So you can pick whichever one you want to use because we have uh, both of them now, right? So I'm just going to use um, cosine, right? So adjacent and hypotenuse. So think about it. We're going to use C, which is cosine. We have adjacent or we don't have adjacent, but that's what we're trying to solve for. Right, which we need in there, and then we have the hypotenuse. So we're just going to do the same as last time. Right, so you just want to take the cosine of your angle, which is 30, set it equal to a, right, the first letter, which is the adjacent side, which we denote by x, over the hypotenuse, right, which is what? 3. So what you want to do is, if we want to solve for it again, just multiply both sides by 3, and x, which is the adjacent side, is just going to be equal to 3 times the cosine of 30. So just go ahead and do this. 3 times the cosine of 30. 
you're going to get it equals 2.598 meters. And so I'm just going to round to 2.6. Yeah, so 2.6 meters, that's going to be x, right? And so x is uh, the adjacent side, right? So 2.6 meters, and this is what they asked for in b. So this is your answer to b. So this is going to be the opposite side. This is the adjacent side. And yeah, so hopefully you found this useful.